Hello everybody, welcome back to the LLC where we come to discuss your less than lethal options for home and self-defense. I'm your host, Mr. LLC, and today the HDR50 gets the uh, HPA treatment. Yeah, so I'm tired of having to swap out CO2 canisters every time I want to keep shooting. These 12 gram CO2s, I mean, they're not very expensive, but they add up after a while. Um, and if you happen to have the resources around you in your home or your garage or um, out in public, you know, you go to a, a dye shop or a uh, paintball shop, you can get your air filled. So we'll talk about that here real quick. Uh, there are a couple of things you'll need for that okay um one you'll need an adapter for your uh pistol which is this you can find this at uh where did i find it get this one at riotballs.com yes you can get this one at riotballs.com okay this will screw in to the bottom of the of your grip here I'll show you how, how, it, how it all goes together here in a bit you'll need that you'll need your high pressure line which is this right here one end goes on your tank and one end goes in your uh, pistol we won't be using this and this is the how it comes and where I found that was on Amazon. And if you want to look for that, this is what you need. All right, so you guys get that right on. Okay. And lastly, you need your tank. And your tank, this is a 48 uh, cubic inch uh, 3,000 PSI uh, paintball tank I've already got it filled to the pressure I need 3,000 PSI I know it reads out the 5 do not fill past the 3 so that's 200 bar 300 PSI you fill past that you risk injury or death I'm telling you man don't do that okay no matter how much you want more power pressure air don't do this shit okay just be safe safety okay so i already explained why i want to go with the uh with the high pressure so i can prolong my shooting time my training time um and to reduce cost on co2 so if you have a uh, high pressure air compressor now i'm not talking about one that you use on your car to inflate your your car tire or your your, your bike tires and stuff no that's you can't use that to fill this you need one that can handle 4500 psi 3000 psi okay that garage compressor won't cut it. You'll need one that does that. <clears throat> and there are a bunch of others out there. Your other option, a uh, dive shop. Your other option is, uh, like I said, a paintball shop. Don't know what to do with this. All right? So, to get this set up, let's, let's set this to the side for a sec. Get our ammo out the way. We're going to be using all that. All that and then some. Okay, so we have a marker. All right, and it is unloaded. I will show you. Okay. And uh, you might be curious why is there an X on the mag? Well, this is one that I shoved those uh, steel ball bearings into the half inch ball bearings while it stretched out the holes a little bit so my riot balls are a little loose so this is how I know 
which one is a stretched out barrel. So don't use those in here if you don't want to stretch your barrel out. I mean, stretch out your uh, magazine. Okay, and we have no CO2 because we we don't need the CO2. Okay, so we go ahead and unscrew that. All right, so we'll set this to the side because we're not going to need that. What we need is this. Instead of the puncture, we're going to use that. So I'm going to get that in there. Hand tight's good. Okay. That's that. Okay, now. You get your hose. This is the part you don't need. You take that off. It plugs in to there, right on the nipple. I think that's what's called a foster fitting, I believe. I think if I'm wrong, let me know down there in the comments. Okay, so now this is where your bottle comes into play. You get your bottle. Those of you familiar with paintball and whatnot, you know what to do here. But those of you who are not, you will then take your uh, your adapter. You will screw it on to your um, your bottle, or you screw your bottle into the adapter and now <clears throat> before you do that I make sure that this plunger is screwed all the way up okay so that way when you're screwing your bottle in you don't lose any air because this is how you're going to puncture your your plunger down here and which lets the air into your hose okay and it also uh, when you're done you will then Loosen that before you release your bottle. Otherwise, you're never going to get your bottle off. Or you'll just bleed air as you're undoing it. So, you just go ahead and screw that in. Okay. So, it stops. That's it. That's as far as it goes. Now, we wait till, we, till we're going to shoot to go ahead and punch this all the way down. Then we'll have air in the line okay well actually I'll show you how that works you have air in the line go ahead screw it down you hear that pistol's hot okay now you want to disconnect you can't I mean you can but it's going to take a lot of work to do it and it's very dangerous to do it so I do not do this okay this is the proper way to disconnect your marker from the line. You first loosen the connection here. Okay. Now, the only thing that's pressurized, there's no air going to come from the tank to the line to the marker. Okay. All the air that's left is in here and in here. Now you can either dry fire it out or you can either dry fire it or you can depress your, um, your button on the back to bleed the line. Oops, hang on. Let me get something harder to push it. Oh, sorry, son. All right. I don't want to dry fire it because my dog's here and she'll get scared. So there we go. Mine bled. We can disconnect. And we're set. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead, get loaded up in the garage and um, shoot the barrel. We'll be back. 
All right, here we are in the uh, LLC test facility. Let's call it, yeah, okay, we're in the test facility. It's official, the LLC test facility. And uh, we've got the line connected to the HDR50, and we're going to shoot those uh, riot balls that we shot the other day, those same red ones, because um, they fly pretty fast. I know they're light, they, you know, but just for these purposes, that's what I'm using. And um, you might be asking, how am I holding the bottle and shooting? It's not with this hand either. So I'm using my carry bag. Let's see. I normally have my burner in here. Uh, I'm using my carry bag sling on my back. So, yeah. Okay, so um, let's air it up. I'm turning my valve. There we go. Pins out. We're hot. Um, oh, I forgot my glasses. Let me get my eye protection. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Always practice safety. These things can bounce back. I know you're shooting into a, a sheet. You think it's, they're all going to drop in there, but you saw the last video, some of them came out. So, and I also hit the barrel. So, yeah, safety. Okay, same distance. Uh, I forget what that was. But, uh, yeah, I'm back at the back of my garage. And actually, I'm, I'm standing a little bit further away, actually, this time. So, we're going to do that. All right, going hot. Firing. stressed out. Okay. Woo. That seems to be uh, getting a little hotter. I think you get a little bit more power with the tank. Kind of missed that shot. Hang on. I'm going to grab that ball before I lost it. So, it seems the HPA gives it a little bit more FPS down, down range. You get a little bit more power. And that one fell out too. Look at that. Okay, we're not using that barrel again. Or that, that mag again. Alright, we're on the mag too. Directly back at me. Now, see, that's why I told you get the eye protection. That came right back at me. And I'm shooting from a further distance this time. Okay? And granted, this, this tank, another one came back. Is uh, is giving you a little bit more power. Another one pops out. Look at that. Okay. Better idea. 
I'm going to set up the cardboard in there to help trap some of these balls from bouncing back because some of them are coming back pretty hard, pretty fast. So let's do that. And a target and, uh, and we'll be back. Hang on. Hopefully this helps things so uh, we got a new mag not a stressed out mag in there and uh, let's see what we get going on going for center target Low, still bounce back. Maybe I still need to do it out the cardboard. Uh, the 68 was punching through that cardboard nicely because those rounds were heavier. But, uh, okay. There we go. I'm not counting that first mag. All right. So mag two. Oh no, we got to because we're doing it for the sake of the tank. Mag three. Shit, that one fell out too. What the hell? steel ammo on this one too because I remember I was doing two of them and after the first one I changed my mind so that may be the problem with this one as well we'll have to see all right let's go Okay, I may have two bad bear, uh, mags. Okay, these seem to be sitting tight. None fell out that time. Which move? All right. Oh, man. All right. Mag five. Let's go top right. Reload, and we'll come back. Okay, so we're down to three good mags right now because another one was stretched out a little bit. So we're just going to work with three mags and our air tank. So we put five mags through, five full mags, even though we fired a couple of blanks. Uh, and I want to take a look at the tank to see what we have for air pressure left. Okay, we started at 300. I'm sorry, 3,000 PSI, 200 bar, okay?
What are we looking at right there? We're sitting be between 2,500 and about 2,500, 2,700 PSI. See that? About 2,700 PSI. So, I should tell you, it's kind of worth it. I mean, you kind of you spend money to save money. It's kind of funny how it works that way, but, you know, uh, you get my point. But, uh, yeah. Got a Mag 6 loaded up. And, uh, firing. Let's go bottom right. Same target. I'll stop at 10, because I don't want to bore you guys. All right, I was just trying to get my point across about the 10, okay? Mag 8. Top left. We got a bouncer. Two more. That was my gate. We're going to stop at ten. So I'm thinking the HPA setup, not having get more shots. Um, and not having to worry about swapping out CO2s as often. Uh, the only drawback is the tank is so big. I know they make smaller tanks and different adapters to use. So I'm gonna to have to explore my option with a different adapter and smaller tank so I don't have to wear the pack and the coil. But in the meantime, this works. You know, so Mag 9, and we'll see what, uh, what we're looking at for, for uh, PSI in the tank when we're done at the round, in the round 10, okay? Uh, let's see here, Mag 9, bottom left. One came back. All right. And Mag 
10. So, yeah, definitely. I'm wait, I'd like to see, I can't wait to see how it behaves, how the 68 behaves on this, on this HPA. All right, that'll be the next bit. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot, I'll call the shots. Uh, top left. Top right. Bottom right. We got a wild one. Bottom left. Middle, double tap. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, let's check the tank out. Coming over directly. Okay. Man, it doesn't even look like it budged from where it was. Does it? Hang on. Get that cord out of the way. Does it look like it budged at all? It doesn't to me. It looks still around 2700. I can't get it to focus on there. Hang on. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. It looks like it hasn't even moved so i'm not even going to top it up for the next video i'm just going to let it ride the way it is so yeah uh you want prolonged shooting 10 mags uh not even 500 psi lost in the tank and i, I can probably go an hour for, with this and and not run out of air and that's that's the, that's the point to continue shooting um this and and you can see the target there you know let me put this down okay so you can see All we've done to that target. A couple of wild, you know, misses here and there. But, uh, yeah, the 50 handle is pretty good. And I think that it does give you a little bit more power with that tank. I think you do get a little bit more power. I wish I did have a chrono uh, so I could I can actually document that for you, the, the difference in the power. Um, I, I got to find one somewhere. Uh, that being said, that tank, yeah, worth it. It's worth it. And this, uh, this barrel, worth it even more. Look, I, I saved all around with the barrel and the tank. I get to keep my ammo. I get to shoot longer. No more buying CO2 cartridges, at least for this anyway. So, yeah. This guy, Mr. LLC, signing out. Keep you and yours safe. Something's better than nothing. God bless. Peace.